Hey guys, welcome back to Sunset Wildlife Connections YouTube vlog channel. My name is Margaret and it is a Sunday today, so there is shooting going on. So just ignore that. We live in the country. There's literally nothing I can do about it. So just ignore it if you hear it. But in today's video, we are going to be going to an encounter and it is an off property encounter. So I kind of want to show you guys what it is like to come to a, an exotic animal event what it is like to load all of the animals, load the car, unload everybody, go to the event, load everybody back up, put everybody back home. We're only at the event for an hour, but there is so much more that goes on. Come follow me along as we go to a kid's birthday party. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, Tommy and my husband is coming with me and he's changing. So he's gonna get some of the crates that we need. We are going to be bringing the owl. We are going to be bringing Deuce, our Amazon parrot, as well as I have a list right here on my schedule. Um, so we're also going to be bringing the ferrets and a snake and then Adrian, our Florida white rabbit. So let's go start prepping all of those cages and start loading all of the animals. Um, I only need a couple diets. I pretty much need, I'm going to feed Adrian her produce diet and then I'm going to bring Deuce's diet with me. He already got his AM diet, but I want to bring his other one because we want to try to fly him. He only flies indoors and this is an indoor party. Then, of course, the owl will bring, and the snake, the ferrets, those are super easy. So let's start with the snake. So we're in our reptile room. I think who we're going to grab is Lagertha. She is our white snake. This area needs to be kind of reworked, but we are going to grab this. And then this is where we are going to load Lagertha. But first we're going to get her a pillowcase. So when snakes travel, a lot of people will put them in pillowcases and then tie it up. I don't like to tie mine up. I like them to be able to choose. If they want to be in it, great. If they don't want to be in it, that's totally fine too. So this is Lagertha. Hi, pretty girl. She is a ball python. She is not a leucistic. I know she looks like one, but she is not. She's also not albino because she does not have the blue eyes like a leucistic and she does not have red eyes like an albino. She actually has a tiny bit of yellow. If you look really, really close, obviously there's dirt on her, but if you look really close, there's a little bit of yellow on her. So she's not quite your white traditional ball python, but she is super sweet and super cute. So let's load her up. Okay, so she is now in there. Sorry, it was, it was like literally impossible to film with one hand. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got Lagertha, she's ready to go. Next, we're gonna do Adrian and the ferrets. So that's Adrian. I just deep cleaned these two, so they are all happy. Her dogs are happy. Let's see, Adrian, we're gonna put, I think in this one. And then the ferrets, I think we're gonna put them since two of them. I think we're going to put them in this big one so they have plenty of space to go to the bathroom and get away from it if they need to. And I like this one because it opens from the top, which is cool. So we've got ferrets. We've got Adrian's. Let's go get Adrian a sheet to put in there. And then same thing with the ferrets too. Um, let's do this for Adrian. And then we're going to do this one for the ferrets. And it was like super messy and disgusting in here, but I'm like halfway through cleaning and that's the way that it has to go. When you are the only person working on the, that day, you have to do all of the cleaning and you have to do the encounters. <laughs> so it will be a long day, but it will be worth it. We'll have fun at this party. So let's get her some hay. And then I'm also gonna get her her I know, you, she knows she's going to a party. I'm here, baby girl. 
Oh, good girl. Good girl, Mama. But I do want to get her her produce, which is right here. So we'll throw this in here right now. There you go, baby girl. Sorry, I just turned the camera off by accident. It's really hard to do all this one-handed. Okay, so we've got Adrian. We've got our ferrets. Also, let's grab a water. We're also need make sure I have all of our flyers and different things like that. So I always like to double check that. It looks like I must have thrown some in here recently because I knew we were out. So that was a good job, Margaret. <laughs> I got paper towels, I saw. Okay, so now we're gonna grab this green bin. This is what has all of our cleaning supplies. It has bath mats on it for the animals to be able to sit on. Again, it has those flyers that you saw. It has all of the sheets that we need for our tables. It has everything that we need in it. I just want to give a shout out to Shannon for all of this donated stuff. It has dog treats and all kinds of amazing toys, cons, all kinds of stuff for the animals. If you guys want to help support our nonprofit, we do have an Amazon wish list. You can find it, the link in the description. Thanks again, Shannon. Another way you can help us out is also by donating. We are a 501c3 nonprofit exotic animal rescue, so you can donate. We have Venmo, PayPal, we have all different ways. Even the link tree allows you to be able to do a quick and fast donation. You could also, if you want something for yourself, you can go to our Bonfire merch store. There is a link in the description. There is this hat. You'll see my husband wearing a hat today. This cool new shirt. I know you can't really like read it right now, but there is cool new tie-dye shirts. You're gonna see Marissa wearing one. And then my husband's also wearing a SWC shirt. So you can find all kinds of really cool something for everybody, kid sizes, hats, there's a tote bag. So go check out those links that are in the description. Tommy has to load Deuce first and then push him into the car. And then the same thing with the owl, we're gonna put, we have the crate, you can kind of see it in there, the crate, and then we're gonna put the owl right into the car. And then we've got everybody else loaded. We've got our green tote and a table that we're taking with us. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go get the owl's equipment. So when it comes to this kind of like a birthday, I like to use my leash instead of hooking the owl to my glove, which I'll show you that you can, there is an owl like dress up video that you can look up. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but I'm gonna bring a glove. See, this is like would hook onto here and then he would be hooked onto the glove. But I'll show you why I don't like to do that for birthdays. I like to use the leash instead. I'm also going to bring myself a second glove just because me, Tommy, and Marissa are all trained on the owl. So all three of us, we might end up like transferring him back and forth a little bit. We're just going to kind of have to see. Also, I don't know how old the birthday girl is, but she specifically has been wanting an owl birthday for three years. So we may or may not have him step up on her. He is such a strong, big owl. Um, it might be kind of crazy, so we'll have to just kind of see how that goes. Um, that's kind of the plan. Well, you know, we just have to play stuff by ear around here. Oh, little baby and all. Hey, buddy. Damn, look at that giant feather. You did not have that earlier mm. today. I did not see that earlier. You see that giant feather back there? Mm. Mm. That's 
see it? Yep, I zoomed in for the people. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. Mm. Good boy. I'm just gonna fast forward this part because like I said earlier, there is a Jess up the owl with me video. There is a link in the description if you want to go and watch me Jess up the owl and I'll talk about all the equipment and everything like that. Why are you slurping? <laughs> I wish you guys could see Tyler's <laughs> eyes among the camera. Where did you put him? You're gonna have to turn the thing. I'm coming in. Coming around hot. You're gonna have to turn him. It's the only way to get him in. Everybody in the back, and we're ready to go. Why do you look so weird? Weirdo. So this is what it looks like when we have all the animals loaded. Oh, are you guys so excited? You guys are so cute together, aren't they so cute? All right, so we're gonna usually start with doing the stuff first and then we do animals second because we don't want the animals to be alone by any way. Or if we do bring animals, we'll have to have somebody there with the animals at all times. We never leave the animals unattended. So we always start with our stuff first and our table and set things like that up first. Do you want to go anything? The steps, don't we? Yeah. I always pack it just in case, but you just never know. Now, Marissa is the other girl that you're seeing. That's our other co-founder. And this is actually her, I think it's her pediatrician or something. So we are going to be bringing all of our stuff in and we did grab a couple animals. Marissa's gonna go figure out where to go next. But look at how cute these <laughs> owl decorations They're are. They're different owls too. That's so cute. So they decided to take the party outside, which is totally fine. So we're just going to bring everybody back down the steps and actually go to their back porch. It happens sometimes. People change their mind. It's just a part of parties. Next, we're going to set up the table and put out the flyers, put out the decorations, everything like that. I didn't know if people were coming through this way. We'll walk around with animals. What do you think? Input, woman. I'm just a filming today. I'm just the YouTuber. Nope, no, no. I told it. I told it. <laughs> Look at that new merchandise. You can pick that up at our online store. <laughs> Tommy and I are headed back to the car to get King, who I'm holding in this video and a couple of the other animals. Then we're gonna finish up setting up our table, get our flyers all set, our banner all set, and then we will be ready to start. 
Now, I always arrive to my events about 15 to 20 minutes early, depending on how many animals I have, just to ensure that we have enough time for this particular part, the setup part, and to make sure all the animals have water and everything that they need. You see them drinking together? You guys are so weird. You can't lick your sister's lips. Sisters. Sisters drink together. Those are ferrets. They're cracking me up right now. We are so thirsty for no reason at all. You want to switch? Nope. Hey, meal, meal, meal. Snake. Look at this. This is Adrian. You guys have no time to sit over there. Wait, this is Lagertha. So we're going to have everybody come over. Oh, okay. Like, okay. If you guys didn't know, Marissa and I did work together at another facility, and then she went and worked for the Gulf Breeze Zoo, but she has been on maternity leave, so she is super stoked to be here and hang out with the animals. So I'm not going to show you guys obviously this whole presentation because one, this would be, make it a really long video and then two, I want to save some elements of surprise and education for our encounters. So you could see I was taking out Lagertha, letting people pet her. Now we are going to move on to our ferrets. I like to make sure that we always try to bring animals that the kids can pet or handle as well as a variety. So it is nice to have that we have birds and we have a reptile and some mammals. I'm going to treat underneath them. <laughs> look, look, there it is. <laughs> but this is a huge part of what we do at SWC. We rescue exotic animals, train them to become ambassadors so that they can do outreach programs just like this and teach people all about different aspects of owning animals, of the animals that they represent in the wild. We talk about ecology, biology, zoology, and responsible pet ownership. Now we're bringing in the big guy. So we've got King coming out. Now Marissa has actually also worked with King, but she hasn't worked with him in a long time. So it was really, really fun for her to be able to work with King again after eight years. Then of course it was time to hold some animals. Like so here's Lagertha. She's going around this little girl's neck. <laughs> but she was great today. I had her out Good for job. quite a while being held. Now it's time to pack up. 
We're all done. Our hour is over. So we like to, again, get all of the animals packed up first. And then we do the stuff. So opposite of what we did when we first got here, where we start with the stuff and then go to the animals. This is actually kind of the hardest part is getting everything back into the car after you've unloaded it like Tetris. This Tetris master me. Help her out. <laughs> Tommy and I played a lot of Tetris in the 90s. So good thing uh, we are good at it. <laughs> but it is super difficult, especially because this cage is so tall. But this is a great cage for travel. So it is a lot. I've got little Adrian. All right, I'm gonna go back and get Marissa. Cause if she can hold the owl, I can get the ferrets. Down. Why is she so cute? <laughs> Dang. Um, he's gonna go on this side and then you'll have to put him in and then twist him around. Hi. Oh, <laughs> that was hard, but okay, now everybody turn and smile. All right, so we just arrived home and now we're going to unload all of the animals. We're gonna clean all of their enclosures and then we are gonna take our lunch break. So that's kind of how it works with doing encounters off property, coming back. We also had to stop and pick up crickets. We live in the country. So we pretty much have to take advantage of any time we're in town. So we also did pick up crickets and I think I left the super worms in the front seat. So I'm gonna grab them real quick. So let's put the ferrets home. So we've got our two sweet ferrets. Oh, sorry guys. Hi babies. Here goes when you go home. We got one sweet little girl. Hi girl. Two sweet little girls. Oh my goodness, you guys are just precious. Look at this chunky little thing. God, she's precious. Deuce is back home, so Tommy got Deuce. But now that this is done, let's actually just take this back and then we're gonna clean it. Okay, so I always clean the animals' enclosures when I get home. That also, obviously you don't wanna have dirty enclosures when you're gonna go do another encounter. And then I also do it so that you know for sure that you have cleaned each enclosure and that each animal is at home. So that is super important when it comes to uh, crating animals. You want to for sure, hi baby, I hear you. Hi, sweetheart. So that's so important to make sure no matter what, even before I eat, before I, I have lunch, I'm gonna clean the enclosure because I want to make sure that the animals are put away and that everything is clean and that we don't have anything else to have to worry about. So, so, so important. That is something that I would stress a million times. I have worked at facilities where animals have been forgotten in crates. Obviously you do not want that to happen with your animals. So it is so, so important to always make sure that you are cleaning each enclosure after you get back from your encounter. So I'm kind of just telling you that as even if you don't ever plan on it, but if you do plan on working or running an exotic animal sanctuary that does outreach programs, that is so, so important. You can just let her out in the room. Wee wee. Adrian ate a lot of her food, it looks like, most of it. And we'll put this back in here hi sweet pup oh shake it out i know so again we're gonna take her enclosure we're gonna shake everything out in here um get the towel put in the laundry you know see if there's any poop or pee on the pad and then we'll also put that away mm -hmm. there you go. tommy's just putting laggers up then again, he'll do the same thing where he takes that out, cleans that, puts that away. So then we know for sure we've got three animals. We actually have four animals home right now because we've got Deuce already home. So I think the last one we have left is the owl. Okay, so the last animal we have is the owl. 
Um, I think that I need to go get his jet or his uh, glove to get him put away properly. So we're gonna first, I'm gonna take his sheet off that was on top of him and I'm gonna run back in here and get his equipment and then we can go together and undress him. Okay, let's see if we can get the owl undressed and I can film at the same time. It's gonna be kind of hard. All right. Good boy, Bubba. You're ready. Thank you. <laughs> He's such a sweet baby, yes you are. Okay, let's go. You good boy. Are we home? Hmm? We're home? Yeah. You're such a good owlet. Yes you are. He likes to cuddle. He's a cuddle bug. He's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweet baby foxes. All right, like I said, this is going to be hard to do this all by myself. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can set you here, Owlet. And then we can put you down. Because you're such a good boy. guys i'm starving so i am going to eat thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was a good little behind the scenes of what it is like to do an exotic animal outreach program because there is a lot involved that obviously does not include all of the training that it was involved to train all of the animals to be able to go out onto encounters this is just literally getting hired going out loading all the animals then going out to the encounter, doing the whole encounter, bringing everybody back home and unloading. There's also the process of, of course, booking the encounter. That is again, a lot of the stuff that I do that's behind the scenes. I will book the encounter. I usually communicate with that person, what kind of animals that they want, what kind of duration, what kind of thing is it? Like obviously today it was a birthday party. So it totally depends on what's going on. And then obviously now afterwards, I have to send another email that is sent out that says something like, you know, reviews. We have our bonfire merch. We have donation links. And of course, following us on social media. So I have to do all of that follow-up work as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. If you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more encounters actually that we do. I am able to offer maybe like a discount for guests who do want to see more encounters so if you want to see some more of our encounters let me know if not make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you guys next time bye you are just the bestest of babies yes you are the bestest of babies you are so precious i, I do i love you you're such a good boy you did such a good job for marissa today yes you did yeah, you did a good job. This is a beautiful little baby owl.